Hello, hello, welcome back. I know I've been gone from YouTube for quite a bit, and the reason being is I went and applied for jobs, and then I finally got a job. I told myself I wasn't gonna post a video until I got a job, because looking at my YouTube analytics, I was like, most people watching are either college students or computer science students. Those people are about to graduate and they're gonna be like, how do I get a job after I graduate? So I was like, I gotta stay ahead of the curve. So I got a software engineer job so that way I can make a video about how to do that so people watch it and then I could keep this channel alive. So that's what I did. If you don't know how a coding interview works, this is the brief rundown. So you apply for a job and they give you a coding challenge, which is basically a screener. So you have like 90 minutes to complete one to three coding questions. And then if you pass the coding question part, then they'll give you the real interview, which is like one day with five interviews back to back to back. And then the majority of those interviews are technical interviews, which are just coding problems again. And then there's one behavioral, which is basically the check if you fit well with the team. My game plan for getting a job was that I was thinking I needed to work on my coding so that way I could pass the screening coding questions in the beginning. And then I needed to also get those coding screening questions, which is I needed to buff up my resume and cover letter. The biggest help was cracking the coding interview. This thing is very useful because it basically gives you a rundown for all the topics that you'll ever see for coding questions, interview topics, anything like that. Priority number one is to understand majority of these concepts because for the actual interview, not the like 90 minute screening coding question, the people don't really care whether you get the answer right as much as they care whether you can think in the right way, which means that you have to know the concepts and be able to talk to them about how you solve the problem rather than just solving the problem. And then the actual problems themselves, the best way to get better at coding is to practice. So what I did is I went to this website called Leak Code, and I just went through one to three questions a day. For like the first two months, every coding screening that I had, I would usually like solve one question, and then the other two, I'd only half solve them, and then they just don't accept it because I don't pass the screening. So. Don't get discouraged, just keep practicing and then you'll get better. The second part that I felt was harder is actually getting those coding interviews. First, what I did was I took my resume from like before and I just kind of updated it with like what I've done recently, some freelance work, and then I just submitted it. And like most people who first submit their job applications, I didn't really get any response. I realized that I needed to switch up my game plan. My solution, which I actually found on TikTok, was to copy what already works which means i just went on linkedin looked on like a company that i want to work at so like google look for a person working there that's similar to me so like graduated recently go and look at their resume and then i copy the format of their resume and just fill it up with my stuff by doing this i don't have to do like a lot of trial and error for resumes because i've seen someone that like google already hired with a good resume and basically what I'm doing is I'm just putting my stuff in that format. And I actually worked pretty well because I got a lot more people actually contacting me back. I didn't really get the interviews per se, but I got more people at least responding. Second thing that I realized was that the ratio of applications that I send out to applications that come back is like five to one or something like that. It's like pretty insane. If I applied basically 30 places per week, I would be able to get like one or two responses by the end of the month. You have to apply it to a lot of places. And the best way that I found to do that was to go through like LinkedIn. I think Leak Code has a list of companies as well. And just basically look up a bunch of software engineering places and just start applying. It's best not to be super picky because even if you don't like the company, if they give you a coding interview, it's good practice for you. So that way you won't be too stressed when you actually get a company that you wanna to go to that gives you a response. So every day I would just have like leak code questions that I would do and then in between breaks of leak code, I would be applying to a bunch of places which is like copy paste my resume and cover letter. And I think I had like in total three to five interviews where I actually got to the end. So I actually had that power day which is that five interviews in one day. Everything else I would like fail at the coding interview. So it's different for everyone because like my friend, it felt like he always had interviews basically every single week. So it definitely varies for everyone, but for me, 
I didn't have a lot of interviews. So that's why I'm like, don't be discouraged. The other thing that I want to give for like advice is that I noticed that recruiters would come in waves. I would have like one week where there would be recruiters who would ask me to um, like submit my application for them. And then there would be like a whole month where no one will respond. And then after literally like after a month, there's this one week where recruiters would be messaging me on LinkedIn asking for my uh, application. It is kind of disheartening at times that um, recruiters aren't replying, but know that it's kind of like it comes in waves. So all you have to do is just keep going, trust the game plan and eventually you'll get it. So I got it and it took me like three, four months. You just got to keep going and you'll eventually get it. So that's what I did for the past few weeks. I'm hopefully, now that I have a job, I could do more videos now that are more interesting since I have like a source of income. Forgot how I ended these videos, but uh, bye. Hi, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Yeah, doing? how are yes. you doing? Oh, wow, you're Today so we're gonna cool. be doing okay. this in here.